A group of individuals active within an organization necessarily has to evolve into a working team, as this is the only key to success and survival of the group, as well as the only means of correctly carrying out tasks or providing high-quality services. Satisfaction of group members is tied to the joy of realizing something greater as a group than anything each member could produce individually on his own. The path from a group to working team is definitely not a spontaneous or natural process. It is rather a complex team-building process, which has a significant impact on the organization's structure as well as on its culture. It produces self-determination and professional leadership, and highlights the organization as a network of strong relationships and innovative ideas. Our main interest here are the characteristics and the development process, or transition, of a group of individuals into a working team, which emerges as an essential resource. In this chapter, we will be analyzing the seven variables which outline a working team within any type of organization. For a brief descriptive diagram with all the variables, please see the figure below. A working team can be efficient and successful only when goals are clear and widely shared by all group members. This is the necessary condition to achieve any result. The goal is the expression of what the team expects in harmony with the results expected by the organization. The goal set, therefore, enshrines the reasons that led to the formation of the group itself. A goal, though, is not something explicit given at the beginning. First of all, because each member would be bringing a set of more or less definite skills, competences, expectations, ideas and needs into the job. And secondly, because each member will tend to give a personal interpretation to the goal itself. So here it's important to underline that, in order to successfully achieve a work goal, it must somehow match with members' personal goals. So we can point out that it's necessary that each team member identifies personal achievements within the goals set. For instance, professional growth, gaining expertise and knowledge in a specific field, and so on. Thus, it is mandatory that the group dedicates time for the sharing of the work goal. A goal must then be clear and shared by all members. It must describe the end point and should always be quantifiable and measurable. Within a team, each individual member regards the work goal with his own particular perspective. But it is fundamental that its purpose is the same for everyone. In short, the goal of a successful working team must meet the following characteristics. It must be determined in terms of results outcomes. It means describing the end product the team wants to achieve by using a common language, comprehensible to everybody, so that each member can grasp the same meaning. It might be useful to write it down as an award plan and to make it visible so as to adjust it accordingly to group decisions. It must be based on tangible data and on available resources. It is mandatory to know what to do, what kind of resources will be needed, which hurdles may be encountered, and what time frame it requires. A data collection is the first step to answer these questions. It must have a clear purpose. The goal purpose must be clear to everybody so that challenges can be easily faced. A goal that has no defined result or purpose doesn't allow the team to check neither its capabilities nor its conduct. It must be articulated in activities and tasks. It is necessary to determine the roles, the tasks and the work phases so as to achieve the goal successfully. 
This must be done after deciding upon the result to be obtained. It must be feasible. A goal can be achieved if the tasks and activities it is made of can be done with the collaboration of all group members. Therefore, a team goal has to use all human resources as well as all technical resources at its disposal. Hence, it's extremely important that the team members are selected with coherence and with an insight into the specific objectives to be fulfilled. It must be measurable. The goal has to be evaluated both by the group and by the organization. There has to be a measuring criterion to count the progress made towards the attainment of the specific goal. The reason behind this is that if a goal is not measurable, then it is hardly possible to know if the team is making progress toward its completion. Measuring the progress helps the working team to stay on track and reach its target dates. The questions to be answered here are how much, how many, and how will I know when it's accomplished? Setting tools to measure a goal is helpful to develop problem-solving attitudes as well as strengthening the team through joint analysis of results.